Hello, this is Ron Clymer. I'm in Daytona Beach, Florida, and I want to talk to you about the biggest mistake that people being foreclosed on make. And there's a lot of people that make this mistake and it cost them thousands of dollars. And that mistake is this. When your house is foreclosed on, you haven't made a payment for six or eight months, the bank forecloses. It goes through a process that we call foreclosure, and it goes through a process that in Florida takes about six to 12 months, sometimes a little shorter, sometimes a little longer. But sometime pretty soon, your house is gonna be foreclosed on. And when it's foreclosed, it is literally sold at an auction to the general public. Anybody can bid on them. Uh, however, I say anybody can bid on them, but most people can't bid on them because number one you got to pay cash and I mean cash like you bid on Wednesday you got to pay up before Thursday so it's like immediately you got to pay the cash immediately and if the house is occupied you may be never seen the inside of it you've never had a home inspection you never had a termite inspection you don't have title insurance, which means you could buy the house, plunk down the money you paid for it, and turns out you don't even have a clear title. And so it's a risky deal. So the truth is most people are unable to do that, and plenty of people that are able are certainly unwilling to do that. So it's a risky deal. So what usually happens is these houses go for a bargain price. Let's say we had a house that I felt like I could list and sell for $400,000. Well, it would probably go for closer to 300,000. So what happens is um, the high bidder bids $3,000. Well, what if that house has a $200,000 mortgage and, and there's closing costs and there's financing costs for the house being foreclosed on, which usually amount to 25 to $40,000. And so, so, Let's just say they're $40,000. So you got $200,000 mortgage and your court costs and your attorney fees and your inspection fees and your clean the carpet fees and your uh, appraisal fees and BPO fees and all the stuff that's fees amounts to another $40,000. So when that house is sold, our hero bids, what did I say, $300,000 for it? So he bids $300,000 for it. Two hundred dollars goes to the mortgage company, all the other fees are paid off to the different people that were involved in that. And there's, uh, what, $60,000 left over. Who gets that money? That other $60,000. And the answer is the owner of the house. The guy that was foreclosed on. The guy that's having the worst day of his life. Uh, the sheriff has just come out and put him out in the street. He's having the worst day of his life. But the good news is, if he'll just call the clerk of the circuit court and say, when can I get my $10,000, my, my $60,000? And the clerk of the court will say, come on down, fill out some few papers, and you can have the $60,000. And that's a cool thing, but listen carefully to what I'm saying now. Listen carefully. 80% of the people in Florida don't ask for that money. Now, it might be $6,000 or $60,000 or $160,000. But if you don't ask for it, you're not going to get it. One of the main reasons that we have foreclosures in Volusia County, Florida lately is reverse mortgages. Here's how that works. Ten years ago, Grandpa saw one of those Tom Selleck ads on TV and called up the company and said, how about these reverse mortgages? And they said, well, you sign this mortgage and we're going to send you money every month. So they send Grandpa money every month. And Grandpa is doing well with that money and uh, supplements his retirement. But one day, Grandpa dies. And when he dies, his heirs inherit the property. But there's a mortgage on the property and nobody wants to pay that mortgage off. There's three or four siblings uh, and nobody wants to pay that mortgage off. 
And so what happens? Tom Selleck's company forecloses on the property. Well, even though they're foreclosing, nobody wants to pay that mortgage. Well, after six or eight or 10 months, we go to auction and that property is sold. And it's sold at a super duper bargain price. Now, by the way, wouldn't it have been better? Instead of going to auction, where somebody is going to either get it dirt cheap or not buy it at all, wouldn't it have been better to call me and say, Ron, do you think you can sell my house for a retail price? And the answer is, I'm sure I can. All I got to do is put it in the multiple listing, find a buyer, and I'll find a buyer that wants to live in it, that wants to go down and get a new FHA loan and, and get a home inspection and a termite inspection and a septic tank inspection and all those inspection things and and get title insurance. Hey, what a novel eye there. He knows he's in. And so it's just a whole lot better and it's more money in your pocket. But what if you decide you want to go all the way to auction and be foreclosed on? And I do not understand for the life of me why anybody would do that. But uh, they did it 38 times last month in Volusia County. And I guess in Orange County, Duval County, Dade County, probably quadruple that amount. And so there's lots of people that just get foreclosed on, and there's a, lots of people that don't get that money they're owed. So you don't be one of those people. If you get foreclosed on, you call, you get that money, and then call me and say, Ron, I sure appreciate you giving me this little bit of knowledge that uh, put 60 grand in my pocket. Can I mail you a few shekels, and I'll give you my mailing address? And the answer is yes, you can, or I got a PayPal account. We can work that out. So... Uh, Y'all know I'm kidding. Have I ever had that happen? But I, I guess it could happen. In fact, there's people that try to scam people and say, hey, I found this money for you and have you sign some kind of an agreement that you'll give them half the money if they'll tell you where it is. And, uh, and the truth is, they do pretty good. Anytime you're being foreclosed on, scammers come out of the woodwork. In fact, if you're being foreclosed on, you know, it would just be a good idea if you just called me and said, Ron, could you come tell me some scams I want to watch, watch out for? And uh, because there's plenty of them. I'm going to post some of them here on YouTube. I haven't got around to it yet. But this is the number one mistake. Don't make this mistake. Don't make any mistake. If you've got financial problems, can't pay for your house, that's okay. Sell your house, put some money in your pocket, and get on with your life. Don't not sell your house get on with your life with a foreclosure on your record. Take you about 10 years to get over that if you ever do. So let me know if I can help you. Ron Clymer, 828-755-6996. Thank you so much.